All right, welcome to this episode of JB and A Today. Um, as always, I'm your host, Nick Smith, here with Aaron Hernandez from Geffen. Now, Aaron, you've been with Geffen a long time. What is your official title right now? Right now, I am Director of Pro Distribution in charge of the U.S. Charge of the U.S. That's a big, big patch. That's a big, that's, that's a big, big, big one, patch. Yeah. All right, cool. So we want to talk a little bit about Geffen, what you guys are mm -hmm. doing, some amazing stuff coming. But I think before we go there, I want to know a couple things. So first, what was the first technology you bought with your own money? First technology I bought with my own money. Uh, I'm going to have to go way back and I'm going to date myself, really. I think it's, it's, okay. it's got to be the, uh, the Creatives Labs Voodoo card. Oh, a gamer, that? huh? A gamer. Yeah. And I needed it to play uh, Quake. Who my... didn't? And then you had I bought, to get in the I bought another one, so I created an SLI Voodoo rig. Oh. So that was my first. So you were fragging um, people faster than anybody else because your frame rates were It was up. a lot of fun. I was still logging in with a modem, so I wasn't that great. <laughs> I think everybody was logging in with a modem when <laughs> right. it came out. Right. So the Voodoo card, that was, that was pretty exciting. That was. Yeah. That was amazing. All right. And what, what was your first technology job? Uh, Radio Shack. So right out of high school, I, I went to uh, Radio Shack and I told them I needed, I needed a job. And uh, I knew how to plug in a Voodoo card and I knew a little bit about audio and uh, they hired me. In fact, they hired me as the manager of the store the first day I was there. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> or scary. I don't know. A little what's scary. Going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the management. <laughs> and they're out of business now. I'm sorry? How old were you? I was 18. 18, 18. a manager of a radio shack. Yeah. And there are a lot of cool toys. On my toys. first day. <laughs> a lot of cool toys in a radio shack. That was, there was a lot of cool toys. Yeah. Now, if somebody doesn't know Geffen, yeah. if Geffen's new to them, and they're not, yeah. I mean, you guys yeah. have been around for what, 20 something? 30? We've been around for, uh, yeah, about uh, 20 and change, yeah. 20 and change. So if somebody didn't know Geffen, what would, what would you tell them Geffen does? Uh, well, Geffen for 20 years has been the leader in video distribution. So we, we can distribute video beyond the capabilities of uh, HDMI, DVI, DisplayPort. So we can extend and distribute video across a facility, across a campus, uh, over miles. Um, so we, we are, we've been the leader in uh, video distribution for quite a while. Nice. And, now, and, and really, so for you guys, the evolution of video now to 4K, Geffen's there. Geffen's right. ready for 4K. Right. And we've always been first to market. So 4K has always been, uh, well, not 4K, but all the newest resolutions have always been very easy for us because it's just the next progression. Uh, STBs become ubiquitous and... Yeah, 4K TVs, it's very easy for us to go to the next step because we've always done it. We were very successful at it. Now, in terms of extending signals, you're sort of covering a wide range. Mm -hmm. So traditional Cat5 extender, just point to point right. with you know, the HD base T, Geffen's right. got it. Right. And then now moving into AV over IP, right. Geffen's yeah. got it. We've always done different media. So we've done Cat5, we've done fiber optic cables. But now with the, you know, with IT networks being so fast, you know, gigabit networks, 10 gigabit networks, we can, we can distribute high definition video across an existing network. But not just high definition, you're doing ultra HD doing, across that network. We're doing 4K, ultra HD with all the bells and whistles. But something sets your 4K apart from the others. What, what is that? We right. talked about this a little earlier. Right. It's, it's the bit rate and the, and the color value. Right. I mean, you guys are true 4K according to Microsoft standards. Is that yeah, I mean, so, so the first, you know, Microsoft has a good way of saying, you know, true 4K, right? And, and what does that mean is that you're getting all the colors, you're getting all of the uh, audio formats, you're getting the full speed. Um, you're not missing anything when it comes to 4K when you use our product. Mm. Now, something you, you keyed in on earlier that I, I hadn't learned earlier, so thank you for teaching me something new today, um, was that, you know, there are a lot of players in the AV over IP mm -hmm. space, right? People that can get video on the LAN. But you guys can do something very unique by splitting out the signal on the LAN. So if I want to send video one way and audio another way right. or to multiple destinations right. and control different directions, you guys can do that with your yeah. IP products. Yeah. So, you know, in fact, we've, we've developed software from the ground up. We develop a, a controller from the ground up that no one else has. And with that software and that controller, what we're able to do is send different signals in different routes, right? So traditionally, uh, other manufacturers can only send the video to the same location with the infrared, with the RC32, and not having the ability to, to separate the IR, separate the RC32, separate the audio to other uh, locations and we can do that so we can have it you can have it your way in other words right you can send IR or audio to a different place uh, than you would a you know just the video yeah so it's better in Burger King your way right, right away that's right love it that's right 
Okay, so I mean, what's new for Giffen right now? What's what's the big exciting piece? Video over IP. We've we're we're just we're just going really strong at it. Um, I, in the past year, we've developed over twenty to thirty products, uh, not only in, in video over IP, but in true four K. Mm -hmm. So we can do uh, we can do four K. We have an entire line of a four K. We have splitters, one by two, one by four, one by eight, four by four matrix. We have six hundred megahertz uh, extenders that can go from uh, four hundred feet. Uh, using true 4k mm. um, so we've been very very busy this past year we've developed quite a bit of products in 4k and, and video over IP now one, of the, over one IP. of the concerns I hear from people is we're not ready for 4k we haven't put in 4k TVs mm -hmm, we don't have 4k mm -hmm, sources mm -hmm. does it matter I mean shouldn't somebody put in 4k capabilities now and let their content evolve to meet that yeah well in fact that's a great question because a lot of the 4k units that we're putting out are backwards compatible so you can use your existing, you can have one, one monitor, one television that is 1080p, but you can also have the 4K monitors and, four, and, and, and 4K displays on the other side. So we're backwards compatible. So we've, we've taken that into account. We built in scalers to be able to be backwards compatible as well as you know, compatible with the latest and greatest 4K. So if you're installing something in your facility, you, if you're using a Geffen uh, extender, a Geffen uh, video over IP or a splitter or a matrix, you shouldn't be worried that you need to uh, buy only 4K. You can still use your 4K, your 1080p devices. Uh, and we, we do all the scaling and we manage it for you. So it's ultimate flexibility to design ultimate a system. Ultimate flexibility, whether you're in, you come in in VGA or HDMI or DisplayPort, mm -hmm. we can make it all happen. It's, it's very easy for us to do nowadays. Nice. Okay, so you mentioned a little bit earlier the control software. In, mm -hmm. in our discussions, that's really your guys' secret sauce. Mm -hmm. You've got these great con uh, endpoints, you know, origination points, destinations. Mm -hmm. uh, you built a virtual matrix that costs a switch, but you've given a high layer of control to make setting up a system really easy yeah. using your LAN controller. Right. Yeah, we, we call it the CU LAN controller or you know, uh, video over IP controller. And we built that from the ground up. It, it's, it's based on uh, open source technology. It's got a Raspberry Pi in it. And um, the software is something that we developed because of the complexities of adding large uh, endpoints to a facility. And if you do, if you do, um, do that, if you have 100 by 100 endpoints, putting an IP on each device is very time consuming. Mm -hmm. So our software and our controller give you the ability to really, you know, as, as Ron Popeil used to say, you know, kind of set it and forget it, right? Yeah. Um, and that's what we're, we strive for, ease of use. Anybody, anybody can install an AV over IP network uh, uh, matrix or, or uh, devices very, very easily. I mean, I, I'm a sales guy and I can do it. So if you have a little bit of technology Come on, you worked for you. Radio Shack. Don't cut yourself <laughs> short. You were the manager. That's right. That's know, right. Obviously somebody saw something that's early right. on. Aaron, looking outside your technology mm -hmm. stack, what are you most excited about in the technology industry right now? What changes are you seeing? What, what technology evolution is kind of saying is, is fun for you? Outside of our industry? Yeah, well, or just outside of even the Geffen stack. You know, the, um, the Internet of Things is really interesting to me. Now, you know, home automation, for example, is, is sort of keying in a little bit on that. Um, but the autonomy of uh, uh, all of these devices uh, the Internet of Things, devices that just do things without you having to control them. Mm -hmm. And Alexa that you don't have to actually talk to that just does things for you, right? That is exciting to me. Uh, I, I think that that's the next wave. Yeah. And particularly in, in business to business, right? So business to business can really streamline their processors and their efficiencies using uh, the Internet of Things, which I don't think it's fully developed yet. Um, I think it's still very uh, in its infancy, yeah. right? So that's really exciting. You know, obviously, I, yeah. I, do, you, do you see it coming into our world yet or, or Alexa or Google Home or Not, any of those? I, I think that's just the first iteration of it. Yeah. I still think it's a little bit, you know, undeveloped. Yeah. Um, the, the real key for me in, in, in the Internet things is autonomy, right? Devices that just do things without you having to tell them to do things. Um, and that's really, I think, where, you know, it's a. It's going to be a trillion dollar business in the next I envision years. a conference room that routes my computer to my conference room when it sees me come in the door. Right. That's, that right. is sort of... Right. Without you, know. you having to say, Alexa, yeah. do it. Or Alexa doesn't understand what you're saying, right? Nice. Right. Interesting. Okay, so let me ask. Do you have an Alexa at your house? I do. 
Okay, so we've just killed the world right now. Right. Um, and I shouldn't say right. Alexa order Geffen right. on Amazon right. because somebody's that. going to be getting you, a, you a shipment here shortly. Yeah. It's good to know. Um, Aaron, so you're going to be at the pre-NAB event for us yep. in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Are you going to be showing some of the new 4K pieces? Of course. Okay, I'm really excited for that. So, so come check uh, Aaron out and see the Geffen gear at the pre-NAB event at the SLS in Vegas, April 6th and 7th. Get a little closer look and look at our review on the new 1x2 splitter that they just released. It's pretty amazing. And we're going to have it on the bench here in the next couple of weeks, along with some of the other 4K and Ultra HD products that they're releasing. So you can get an, a kind of sort of a look under the hood. All right, Aaron, thank you for being here today. It's been Thanks, awesome. Nick. Awesome. I look forward to what's next from Geffen. Likewise. All right, we're out.